What's happening everybody? Shannon, Black River Tactical. This is January the 2nd, and I am on my very last day of vacation. You can see I'm uh, probably not even gonna leave the house today. It's uh, six below zero this morning uh, when I headed out to, uh, to do some chores early this morning. But I wanted to make a quick video and uh, share with you some some frustrations I'm having right now. So, one of the things I wanted to accomplish uh, on my time off here was signing up for the six hour P320 voluntary upgrade for um, the quote unquote uh, drop issues that six hour uh, was having with their guns. Um, and to be quite frank with you, I, I waited this long just because I didn't know whether or not I wanted to do it. I wanted to get some feedback from uh, others that had, you know, sent their guns in and got them back and see how the trigger felt and all these sorts of things. Because to be honest with you, I don't, I don't, I don't see it as big of an issue. Um, but uh, we'll get into that just a little bit later. For those of you that aren't aware of the six hour P320 quote unquote issue is um, six hour shortly after being named as the winner of the army uh, sidearm uh, competition to replace the Beretta as the army's official sidearm uh, in very tense competition with Glock. Um, a bunch of videos started coming out very quickly, um, surprisingly, but not surprisingly right, of the SIG P320 discharging when dropped onto the back of the slide of uh, the gun. So, um, basically in a nutshell, the gun, this is my SIG P320, clear, uh, was dropped from a very specific height, which is my understanding. I don't know that much about it is uh, very much uh, an understandard drop height test. Okay, but it was dropped and when it was dropped it was dropped on a hard surface on the back of the slide and because of physics guys right objects in motion tend to stay in motion what was occurring was is that when the when the gun was dropped, the trigger was continuing to move rearward because of its mass, okay? And then also uh, the, 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 the sear in the back was um, lacking is not a good word, but it didn't have a safety catch so that if the firing pin was to move forward, it would catch it without the trigger being depressed. But essentially the problem is that the trigger was actually being actuated. It was pulling back. It wasn't traveling all the way back, but pulling back enough to release the sear, allowing the firing pin to move forward and strike the primer on the round. So again, it had to be dropped from a very specific height, had to hit just right on the gun for it to go off. So Six Hour came out with a voluntary um, upgrade program. They didn't call it a recall because they weren't going to admit that they had any quality problems with the pistol and it's not a quality problem per se but uh, was perceived via social media to be a huge huge issue with the gun now you guys have seen my sig p320 before i love this gun okay love it uh it's got a sig pro night sights on it um it can be changed, the grip modules can be changed. You guys know the story, right? You guys have seen my video where I made a 200 yard shot with this gun, you know, offhand. It's a fantastic gun. And uh, on the one by one steel plate, 200 yards, it's, it's a phenomenal gun, okay? So I didn't sign up right away because I was a little worried and I wanted to make sure that everything was gonna work out. Um, so today I got on SIG's website and um, I signed up for the, for the voluntary upgrade. 
I'll be waiting on SIG to send me the shipping information along with the shipping label for me to put my gun in its original box and send it via FedEx to uh, Six Hour New Hampshire to be upgraded. Uh, it's going to be a smaller trigger. The trigger, this profile, this trigger is much less. It's about, I think, I think they said 35% less mass in the trigger. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews, you know, that it's, uh, you know, some people say the triggers are different. Some people say they're great. Um, you know, the guys from Grey Guns, which are, you know, really Sig Sauer uh, probes, I mean, for a lack of a better term, I mean, those those folks know what Sig Sauer triggers are all about, are saying that, you know, the upgrade is legit and it's what's in the X series of pistols and also what is already in the military version of the Sig Sauer P320. So, uh, again, with a, with a heavy heart, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send it in. I hope it was the right decision. I really probably about the last month or two had been, had had my mind made up that I absolutely wasn't going to send my pistol in for the upgrade. I, there's no reason for me to, I, I, again, you know, obviously nobody plans on dropping their guns, but the statistical odds of, of, of me dropping the gun in just the right way at just the right height are astronomical. Not to mention the fact that, you know, I, every gun that I own, with the exception of Glock, I mean, gosh, you could, you could almost do anything to Glocks and um, they're pretty safe as long as the trigger's not actuated. But I mean, I, I take, if I drop this gun, on the ground, is there a possibility that it will fire? Absolutely, there's a possibility that it will fire if dropped on the ground. And there's just no way, two ways around it. I mean, there, there, it's mechanics involved, right? Um, if I drop this gun on the ground, is there a possibility that it will fire? Absolutely, there is a possibility it will fire and has proven to fire. I mean, there, there, there's, there's proof of this. These guns, uh, there's videos out there of these guns firing when dropped, okay? So, under the right circumstances and the right conditions, virtually any gun that you can drop will have the potential to discharge a round. So, um, I wasn't that worried about it. I'm hearing some you know, a majority good things or neutral things about the Sig Sauer upgrade. So I'm going to send it in. It's probably going to be a week or two until they send me my shipping label. And then I'm hearing it's like a week or two turnaround time in New Hampshire uh, for the guns to come back and they get shipped right back to your door. You don't have to deal with your FFL or any of that shipping there or coming back. So that's a plus. So, uh, reluctantly I have, uh, I have uh, sent my gun in for the upgrade. I am not giving up on the SIG P320, uh, you know, unless of course it comes back and the trigger's garbage and whatnot. But I mean, I'm not giving up on the, on the 320. It is a fantastic pistol. Um, so I'll give you some more updates when, when uh, I get the shipping label and then when I ship the gun off and when it gets back, we'll do a review of it and just see. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you guys being uh, on my channel here. Uh, hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, hit like, share this thing, share these videos. Uh, this is, uh, you know, where we share information here. Um, uh, obviously, not everybody uh, agrees with everything. Again, just like on every video, if you don't like what I'm saying, feel free to, feel free to fuck straight off and go get your information somewhere else. Uh, but if you do like us, give us a, a subscribe, give us a share, and uh, share this video with people that might benefit from it. You know, you never know. So, uh, this is Shannon, beautiful Southeast Ohio, Black River Tactical, sending uh, my gun off via FedEx to have a voluntary upgrade done on it so that it won't fire if I drop it off the side of my house. Signing out. Happy New Year, everyone.